If you don't celebrate your progress, you can feel like you're losing when you're actually winning. As a pharmacist, you literally work your butt off to succeed and make a difference. But there is one important thing you're likely not doing that's literally robbing you of the joy you're working so hard to create. I'm Dr. Adam Martin of The Fit Pharmacist, and in this episode, I'm gonna share the one simple thing you can do that will give you long-term success and enjoyment in the process. Here's a dose of real talk. This is not hyperbole. It's actually almost the norm of our pharmacy culture. And it's one of the core reasons why burnout continues to rise. Hustle your face off. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Grind until the wheels fall off. Sound familiar? Yeah, you gotta work hard. And y'all know I advocate that is a requirement. But there's another piece to this story. If you miss this piece, the hard work you're putting into your career will actually cost you the very joy and happiness that you're working so hard to attain. How ironic. It's a fact of pharmacy life that you need to hear loud and clear. If you do not celebrate your progress, you can feel like you're losing when you're actually winning. Why? Because success without fulfillment is the ultimate pharmacist failure. If you're creating all the success, getting good grades, getting promoted, making the money, whatever, however you define it, but that doesn't fulfill you, the money's not going to do it. I see this all the time. Here's what happens, and y'all are gonna be nodding your head at the truth of this statement. The feelings come back, the feelings of, I thought there'd be more, is this all there is? I'm not fulfilled in my work. You get the paycheck. It puts the feelings away. Those feelings are put aside for a time. And as the cycle continues, the gap between the paycheck and the feelings of resentment, the gap gets smaller and smaller and smaller until you reach a point where the money doesn't do it anymore. Now you get the check and it just is, the lack of fulfillment is there. And you keep clocking into a job that isn't at all what you signed up for and you start questioning not just your job, but yourself. You start to get hard on yourself. Did I really go to school for this? Is this all there is? Is this what my life is gonna look like? Do I really wanna stay here for the next five, 10, 20 years? Is this what it's come down to? This is not something that is a one-off or that every few people, like this is reality. And the key to this, is having a real talk check-in with yourself, having an honest conversation with what you want. Because you might see someone in a similar career you're in, in the same niche, and they're loving what they do. They are genuinely fulfilled. So you feel like, I should feel that way, but I don't. Maybe I'll just give it some time. Maybe, maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. Don't ignore those. Make sure you lean into those honest conversations because here's something that you have to realize. What you do in your pharmacy career, whether you're a student or a pharmacist, it is not what you achieve that fulfills you, but who you become as a person that makes the journey worth it. Who you become, the skills you have to develop, the things you have to learn, the things you have to let go of, the things you have to grow into, who you have to become in order to get to the place you wanna go, that is what it's all about. The journey you're on right now, the growth and development in yourself and your career that you're craving, that you're working hard for, that you're sacrificing your self-care and sleep for, in order to actually get that, You'll need to develop skills you've never had to before. You'll need to face your past and heal like you've never had to before. You'll need to grow your level of faith like you've never had to before. And unless you recognize and celebrate the progress you're making on your journey, 
you'll go right through hell. Hear me again. You'll be doing all this work, focusing on how far you have to go. You'll be critiquing every little mistake that you make. You'll be living your life in the future and missing the gift of the present. All those things I just mentioned are actually helpful if you celebrate the wins along with them. Otherwise, over time, those things that had good intentions, they'll actually become destructive and be the end of what you've been trying to create. So if we take what I'm talking about, celebrating yourself along the way, those things can actually be helpful. So here's what each of those would look like when you apply celebrating the wins as a simple tweak. Let's see if you can hear the difference. If you focus on how far you have to go, recognize how far you've come. If you critique your mistakes, acknowledge how less frequently they occur. If you live your life in the future, remember that's God's domain. The present is yours. Above all else, you need to know this dose of real talk. I'm going to say it again because it is so true. If you don't celebrate your progress, you can feel like you're losing when you're actually winning. So I ask you, when would now be a good time to celebrate yourself? Because here's the reality that you need to recognize real quick. As of right now, this moment, you hearing my voice as of right now, you have survived 100% of the hardest days you've ever faced. That's not some hype, that's reality. Now that is something to celebrate. So as you press on, as you grow, as you put in the work that is required for your dreams to become your reality, make sure you give yourself a dose of celebration and recognize how far you've come. Recognize that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Take note of all the things, people, and experiences you're grateful for in your life. Who has helped you along your path? The invaluable lessons you've learned and the memories you've made that you can take with you as you continue to dispense your full potential. So go forth and do just that. Go be a blessing because that is exactly who you are. Much love to you, my friend. Celebrate the journey. God bless.